Welcome again to another edition of First Person, sponsored by the Crystal Room in Troy at I-75 and 55 at Route 718. Events perfected for your next event, big or small, whatever you need, weddings, banquets, reunions, they'll make your event perfect. Again, the Crystal Room in Troy across from Kroger's. The gentleman to my right needs no introduction for high school baseball or amateur baseball fans in Miami County and the region. He's Rick Gold. We're at Stars Academy. First question I want to ask you is, first uh, spring in a few years without high school baseball in your schedule, how did that feel for you this year? That was pretty interesting. You know, I coached high school baseball for like 40 years, along with Wittenberg, and then this was the first spring since like 1965 I wasn't on the baseball field. So uh, for me, thank goodness for the rain, it made it a little bit more comparable <laughs> because I sure didn't miss what the high school coaches had to go through. We're standing here in the Stars Academy in Troy today, a sponsor here on Press Rose, and you're part of the staff here, uh, uh, teaching uh, the kids in the summer and the off season how to perfect their game, how to improve. That's what the subject of, of today's segment is, about kids in summer and the importance of baseball in the off season, because I think unlike the other sports, football and basketball, there is no AAU baseball. There is no year-round football. Uh, Ohio State's camps next week, Michigan camp the following week. So what do kids do in the summer now? Because we know Legion ball is not as uh, prolific as what it used to be. What are kids are doing now and the importance of becoming better in the offseason? Uh, a lot of it now, instead of Legion baseball, is all the different select baseball yep. teams that start. I'm not sure. They could start at 6U. I'm not sure. I know there's 8U, 10U, 12U. Right. And depending upon the program you get into, it could be pretty beneficial, but some of them can be a little suspect as well. So a lot of kids and parents are going that way. What is the importance, the most important things to do? You know, Greg Beals and I at Ohio State talked about this. Tony Vittorio at Dayton talked a, a, a little bit about this, about make sure, find a play, but make sure you spend the, the right amount of time perfecting skill. Don't just play, and that's the knock on AAU baseball right. or basketball. Kids play a lot of games, but they don't get, better, they don't become better free throw shooters. I see kids this spring in baseball who aren't very good free throw shooters. What do you do to get better? Again, I think it's just what you're saying. You have to take time to work on your skills. And when you're playing games, especially all these tournament games and everything, you're more worried about winning than perfecting your skills. So instead of working on something, and especially like let's say pitching, like you were a big curveball, right? mm -hmm. you know. So instead of a player or a pitcher trying to work on getting a better curveball, he's more worried about winning. So if he's not throwing that curveball for a strike or two quickly, right. he's abandoning things. So I think a lot of players are missing out on the skill development. Rick Gold from Stars Academy, former high school coach at uh, Miami East, yes, at Pickle, yep. and uh, most recently Arusha, our guest this week. I want to ask you a little bit about what you are observing in high school baseball. You were out of it this spring. Uh, we saw about 80 games, you know, on press pros, and it was my feeling that those essentials that you talk about are getting a little weaker and weaker and weaker every year. You see fewer and fewer teams that can get sacrifice butt down, that uh, that that hit the cutoff man, to do all the things, the cliche things that are so necessary in baseball. What do you think? Uh, again, I agree with you also, uh, Sonny. Again, when I went to, I saw quite a few games myself this, this spring, and it was a lot different being on the outside looking. Yeah, excuse me. <coughs> but I'm seeing kids not move up on balls and balls. I'm seeing kids not knowing when to tag and when to. I'm seeing pitchers that don't back up, pitchers that don't cover first. I'm just seeing a lot of little things that really amount to a great deal of importance to being a successful team. Now, Jim Hardman used to say, make that team make more, three more plays than you have to make, they may give you the game. That's correct. Are you concerned generally about the future of high school baseball? I get on this rant all the time about we make them play in terrible weather, why would you want to play? Uh, we make them choose in the summer, do I lift for football, do I play AAU basketball? Or do I play baseball, something that's fun, something that I love to do? Are you concerned personally about the future of high school baseball? Uh, yes. Again, I read your article. I love press pros, by the way. And several years ago, I talked to, I was at the National Clinic in National, I talked to a couple coaches from Iowa. 
and they were talking about how their high school season didn't begin until like maybe the end of the May or first of June, yep. and how they would play in the evenings at six o'clock, and they'd play the packed stands and charge admission. Exactly. And my last couple years at Pickle, we tried to move as many games as we could to like 5, 30, 6 o'clock to allow parents time to get there, to allow our students to get to Hardman Field to watch the game. And so the weather, like when you had a spring like this spring, it's just miserable. Awfully tough to give kids 27 games to play, six weeks to play them, because with the rain outs and the bad weather, you end up, I think, layman this year. Uh, played seven games, eight games in seven days. That, and again, nobody, no high school team, unless you're Moeller, has the pitching to do anything like that. Pitching. I want to give you an opportunity to give a plug for Stars because you're on the staff here, you and Kirk Kittle, who teaches softball. The importance of a facility like this, right on 75 in the Miami Valley. Again, I know back when I played, you know, there was no extra instruction or no place to go. I can remember. Uh, uh, maybe shouldn't say this, but skipping school in the afternoon to drive all the way to 25A to hit at the batting cage yeah. and trying to get some extra cuts in before our game that night. And again, a place like this, when you got quality people like Tremaine, uh, the things he does is unbelievable, and Kirk Cato with softball and Dan Kane. And then over the winter to have a chance to work with Bruce Bolvar, the Dayton Dragons hitting coach, and then this summer, Brian Hunter and TJ. I, it's just a great opportunity for kids to gain knowledge and that's what they need to do. They need to gain knowledge on how to improve themselves and play better and get to that next level they dream about. With Rick Gold, again, the subject is today off-season conditioning and how to improve your game if you're a high school baseball player and want to get better next year. Tony Vittorio says this all the time. You can't do it with an Xbox. You have to get out. You got to get on your feet. You got to move around. You got to play. That's exactly right. You know, one of my friends was talking about, you know, the ability to hit a curveball is, is tough. You know, you threw that nobody pitch very hit, well. Nobody hit mine. None. None. <laughs> and we talk about how maybe kids aren't playing wiffle ball like they used to. That's right. You know, they're in on the Xbox and playing MLB there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's, it, it's all true. And again, um, if you want to improve your game, an excellent facility here at Stars on Dorset Avenue, right next to Troy Christian High School. Come down and see Rick Gold, Kirk Cato, whatever your game, whatever your ambition is to do, there's somebody here on staff that can help you get better. That's correct. And our job, we want to just help make baseball players and baseball, the game of baseball better for everyone in our area. Coach, great to talk to you. Thank thanks you, for, Sonny. Thanks for your time. That wraps up this edition with Rick Gold. Again, a, a, a new edition of First Person brought to you by the Crystal Room. Events Perfected is their motto for your next banquet, reunion, a wedding, whatever the event, large or small, they'll make it the best it possibly can be. Again, see them on their website. Click on the ad here on Press Pros. It'll take you directly to there, 75 and Route 55 across from Kroger's in Troy. For Coach Gold, for the sponsors, Thanks again for your support of high school sports here on PressPosMagazine.com. We'll see you next time with another edition of First Person.